Josh is an aspiring graphic novelist. He's young, he's in high school, and he's created this character called Hellbound Hero. He's actually written and inked and sketched, created a manuscript in a finished volume one of, of Hellbound Hero. Hellbound Hero is, you know, this kind of dark, not an anti-hero, but a, a dark hero who says stuff like, I'll see you in hell. Josh, this is really cool. Thanks. I, I mean, like, great. I didn't know you could draw this good. No Good Deed is about a teenage boy, high school student named Josh Jackson. One night, Josh inadvertently saves a fellow student from an attack. And it turns out the person he saved the girl from was a famous serial uh, rapist. And he becomes a celebrity as a result. <laughs> Over there. Station? Yeah. Shit. That's what it sounded like. Wait! No, no, come on, we gotta go check it out. I'll call the cops. No, we gotta go now! Uh, I'm coming. My favorite graphic novel sequence in the play is when our trio of superheroes must break into the junkie hut in order to fight crime. And at that point we have all 11 cast members on stage and there's this fight sequence that covers the entire stage and per our playwright's instructions spills out into the audience. We came up with the idea of merging kind of a comic book world with a reality world because it seemed like it was a natural fit dealing with uh, kind of doomed heroes in reality. A way to kind of dramatize that and make it a little more upbeat was merging it with mythology about superheroes. So all our doomed heroes become superheroes. The tragic thing is they use their superpowers to try to go back in time and undo their good deed. Which would you have? Power? Solar blast? An x-ray vision? Turn invisible? What's your top pick? I fly. Definitely. I fly and have super strength. Yeah.